Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to explain how we can use the definition to find out the derivative of a given function. So we are here, we are given a function f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 3x. And we know the limit definition for a derivative is f prime of x is equal to limit h approaches to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So what we need to do is need to find out f of x plus h, whereas f of x is already given. So we are given f of x, which is 4x squared minus 3x, and we need to find out f of x plus h. So just replace this x by x plus h in all the x in the function f of x. So we replace x by x plus h, x by x plus h. So now this is x plus h whole square, so we have a plus b whole square formula, which is a square, the square of the first one, the square of the second one, then two times the first and second. Or you can just multiply those twice, so you get the same result. So for the x plus h, we take the square of the first one, square of the second one, then two times first and second. And then this minus 3 would multiply to this and this. So that becomes minus 3x and minus h, 3h. Now, this 4 would multiply to all these 3. So 4x squared plus 4h squared plus 8xh minus. And these 2 would come again as it is. Now, we have f of x plus h. We are already given f of x. So we substitute that in the formula which is the limit h approaches to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So we put the value of f of x plus h, then there is a negative sign, so we wrote negative, and then we have f of x is this one, which is 4x squared minus 3x. Now this, is better that you write this in the bracket, because there is a negative sign, and you might confuse that. So this negative would multiply with the 4x squared, and with this, minus 3x. So that would give you minus 4x squared and minus and minus becomes plus 3x, right? So if you write it down in here, the rest is the same. These one only changes to minus and that to plus. Now this is plus 3x and we have a minus 3x. So they cancels out each other. We have minus 4x squared and you have plus 4x squared. So we are left with 4x, 4h squared, 8xh, and minus 3h. Now we can see that we have, what we have to do is remove the h from the denominator somehow. So that's what, what we have to do is we have h squared in all the terms over here. We have h here, h here, and h here. So if I take h common, so I'm left with 4h here, 8x here and minus 3 here. And this h cancels out with this h. Now we are left with 4h plus 8x minus 3. And we can apply the limit because it will not give us, and there is not, it's not giving us 0 in the denominator. That makes the function undefined. So we can apply the limit straight away for h. Since x, the limit is at h, so at x minus 3 is considered as constant, so they come as it is, and for h we replace its value 0, so that gives us f prime of x is 8x minus 3. Thank you.